Hi, this is Devin Howard with Breezeway Productions and I am at the Sea Shepherd's 40th anniversary gala for the oceans. We're gonna talk to some of Hollywood's top talent like Martin Sheen, Pamela Anderson, Emily Deschanel, so stay tuned. So you've been very active in the fight to conserve and protect our oceans, so how did that all, all start for you? Well, I've been uh, telling this story uh, to several different uh, of your colleagues this night. I first met um, Paul Watson uh, when I was asked to host a, a new TV series called Eco Spies, and this is back 25 years ago, and this was the uh, pilot show. I was asked to go down to San Pedro where the Sea Shepherd was docked and uh, to meet this young captain and do this interview as the first in a, a hopefully a, a many uh, uh, shows about people working to protect the environment. And I did this interview and it lasted a couple of hours down there and I, I just became enamored of him. At that time he was very well known for trying to prevent the seal pup slaughter in the Madeline Islands, and uh, I was uh, I was just so impressed with his courage because he was really pretty much on his own. You know, he's one of the co-founders of Greenpeace, and he went off to on his own to found uh, Sea Shepherd because he felt that Greenpeace was really not uh, um, uh, direct enough. You know, they were not they were not willing to uh, to risk uh, uh, what what he felt was necessary. Uh, which proved right, you know, to help save the uh, the animals and to uh, try and stop the the pollution of the ocean. So, yeah, that was like 25 years ago. In uh, in '94, he invited me to go on uh, the the uh, on a, an effort to stop the hunt. I was doing a film at the time, and I, I had a week off, and I said, okay. So I went up, and uh, it was a very interesting <laughs> time. Because a, a riot broke out with the um, the uh, sealers, and they tried to kill him. They beat him to a pulp. We had to have the uh, the Northwest Mounties get us out of the uh, country uh, because they were so uh, afraid of him, what he was doing. He was trying to change their lifestyle, and they were stuck in that place where they thought it was very manly uh, and productive to slaughter seals with ball bats and. Uh, and uh, strip their pelts while many of them were still alive. So that was my introduction to uh, the cost of environmental involvement. And you know the old saying, uh, if what you believe doesn't cost you something, you're left to question its value. So I learned that lesson on that trip. And I wrote the foreword to a book that Paul wrote about the seal uh, pup uh, slaughter. And uh, so we've been friends ever since, and he's my hero, and I'm very proud to be a part of the support of, uh, of Sea Shepherd, and I was honored two years ago they named a ship after me. And, uh, and it's an RV, which does not mean recreation vehicle, it means research vessel. So that's their main focus, and they have been in the Sea of Cortez and along the, east, uh, the west coast here in the Pacific. Uh, they're focused... Um, uh, on uh, the plastics, the poisons that are that ma many of the sea life are feeding on, and and then they it's a horrible diminishment of a healthy environment, uh, a sea life environment. So that that's the focus of the uh, the Sheen vessel. So yeah, they uh, they made sure that I would stay involved. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing, and your involvement has made such a huge impact. And um, just building off of what you said about how you first met Paul 25 years ago, how have you seen activism change since then? Has it? Are you impressed? Would you ever have imagined that it would have be become something like this? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm very. It's very gratifying, but it's equally necessary, and particularly with the young people, because it's it's their uh, future. The, the world belongs to them. Whatever. Whatever's left of it when we're done is theirs to to uh, uh, deal with and live on, and it's like the old saying, you know, the uh, the uh, the earth does not need us; we need the earth. It'll just soon, if we're not going to uh, uh, to live Moby. in harmony uh, with all of the environment, why well, it will just flush us out and start over again. It's done that, 
<laughs> any number of times we know over the 4.5 billion years of the existence of this planet. So it's not it's not news, you know. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. So, what do you feel is the most pressing issue that our oceans are facing today? Pollution. Yeah. And and, and over uh, fishing, of course. But um, the uh, I mean, they uh, so many uh, species are in danger. But we're in danger also because. So much of the sea life that we consume in our diets are being poisoned, particularly by plastics and pesticides. This is a, a horrible uh, uh, reality. And also, we know that there is serious damage uh, when we see the shape of the reefs. Those are the first to go. If a reef goes, uh, it can't sustain life. And if the oceans can't sustain life, they die. If the oceans die, we die. It's just that dramatic but that's the truth of it yeah oh i know i i went to the great barrier reef last year and i was yeah. astounded by how dead it seemed it wasn't yeah. it wasn't what i imagined it would be were you with the sea shepherd were I you wasn't no oh, i just yeah. lived in australia for a little bit oh, and yeah. i they're very concerned and they're they're placed there also so, yeah yeah if you want to go with the sea shepherd vessel you know let them know that if you want to Take a camera out and do a show, you know. Uh, you can be as close as the Sea of Cortez or Vancouver right now or, or anywhere in the Pacific. Uh, Ecuador, you know. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, that would be amazing. I would definitely love to do something like that. A lot of young and people, you were asking about uh, the involvement, and this is very, very, um, uh, it's very, uh, it's inspiring what young people are doing. They, they, they're really in the forefront. As I say, it's their world. But now they, they really realize, particularly with our pulling out of the Paris Accord, people were so shocked and embarrassed because uh, we have for so long been leading the effort to uh, heal this planet and to slap the rest of the world in the face with such a rude and stupid uh, uh, kind of behavior was so embarrassing, and but it's woke up a lot of people. That slap in the faces woke up a lot of us. So, more power to them. Yeah, absolutely. And just kind of going off of that, you've played a president on screen so many times. Any chance that you'd actually want to run for president now? <laughs> no thanks. I think we tried it with an old actor once. <laughs> he wasn't bad, but I think we can let it let it go at that. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you so much for talking thank with you. us.